بشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحنا راكضة من لساني يفكها وكولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Yasmin Isa I am the founder of Wellness with Yasmin Holistic Health Coaching and uh, the author of the Glow from the Inside Out cookbook and uh, the founder of MB Muslima Magazine Modest Beautiful Muslima Magazine so today I was asked to speak about um, a, a female in Islamic history who inspires me and uh, this is hard because there are a lot of really inspiring um, we have so many inspiring women in our history and uh, I remember years ago this was probably like 2010 um, and I went to an Islamic conference and I bought this book The Great uh, Woman of Islam and it, it's a good book for sure and uh, I was just really into like you know wanting to read about the, the wonderful woman that came before us because there's a lot to you know be said there but anyway the woman I want to talk to you about uh, today is Khadija radiallahu anha may Allah be pleased with her the wife of our beloved prophet uh, they were married for um, 25 years alhamdulillah and uh, I'm sure people watching know who she is but let me tell you uh, some of her roles okay so she was a wife she was a mother she was a business owner and employed others including our beloved prophet he worked for her before he was married to her she was a worshiper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the first people uh, the first person to accept Islam she was a homemaker she was widowed before marrying the prophet and uh, she was a da'i someone who invited people to Islam and she also volunteered her time to take care of those who were less fortunate I want to talk about her because she did so many different things and she juggled so many different roles and was involved in so many different things and I think knowing this um, I know this because I work with women one-on-one -on -one. my coaching clients I teach women um, you know the different classes I offer online and sometimes locally so I do a lot of work with women um, you know but a lot of us are high stress lots of responsibilities and having trouble balancing it all so that's really what I focus on in my work and um, I think she is such I know she is such a good example of us to derive from to um, see the elegance in which she balanced all these different things and um, you know she is someone who knows what it's like to have it all and to have nothing she comes from a rich family and she was a very 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 successful merchant and businesswoman uh, at the same time though she gave her everything to our beloved prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may Allah be pleased with him. She gave everything and supported him 110% uh, with his prophethood, right? And um, in doing that, they did have days where they really did not have anything because they gave everything to that mission. So um, she's such a good example for us to derive from when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may Allah be pleased with him, when he received revelation from Angel Jibreel. Angel Gabriel for those who might not be Muslim and listening he was scared <laughs> he thought he was going crazy he you know was really really scared of um, you know this not the message but just the intensity of it and he ran to Khadija he ran to her it is documented that he came to her shivering shaking and asked her you know put his head in her lap and she comforted him what better example do we have than that of such a powerhouse woman so when you are living in uh, today's day and age and you feel overwhelmed and you know you have all these different things that you're trying to balance I encourage you to go read about Khadija she's one of the best examples thank you so much uh, for being here with me today and thank you for collectively remembering um, you know such a wonderful woman with me and um, with that being said, Jazakallah khair. May Allah, may God reward you for the good. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.